Hey, Bolo Buddies. Thanks for watching. Okay, I have a Halloween Bolo category video for you guys. These are items to be on the lookout for, items that you can pick up at estate sales, garage sales, thrift stores, wherever if you get lucky enough to find them. Um, these items are vintage. They are Halloween and most of them go for big money. Some of them are going to surprise you. Um, and I'm going to start out with one that you're just going to be like, what? But then I'm going to show you something else. So um, you got you got to be careful when always look comps comps up on the items. Okay. Let me show you what I'm talking about here. Okay. So, um, these are vintage McDonald's Halloween bucket candy pails. Okay. You guys from 1986, they look to be in really like really good condition. Um, I would say mint condition. I mean, they are fantastic. These sold for $433 and the buyer paid shipping. Now you guys are going to say that didn't sell. That's money laundering. That's shill bidding or whatever. Okay. I don't know, but I can tell you, or you're going to say the buyer didn't pay. That's the most common thing. And that happens all the time. Okay. So now I'm going to take you here. This is the same listing and I am going to go into the feedback. Now, the person only has five feedback, but you're going to see right here, $433 vintage McDonald's Halloween bucket candy pails, 1986. The person that bought it had 236 feedback. Item arrived as described, awesome seller, great communication, A plus eBayer. So um, let's see if they have any other items for sale. They have uh, a dish towel. So, uh, let's look at the solds here. Ah, there you have it. I don't understand this at all. Unless, is that a different set? I wonder. Yeah. Yeah. The mouths are different. Okay. So check this out. I didn't do this before the video, so I'm looking at it with you guys. I, I do this sometimes. I kind of go down the rabbit hole where I start like digging into things and it, it takes time. But um, okay, so this one sold for 433. This one, you can see the face on this pumpkin is different. That one looks to be the same and the mouth and the eyes are different on this one. So maybe... I was trying to figure this out. Maybe these are more rare than these because this only went for $61. Interesting. And we know that the buyer got these and left feedback. So they paid. All right. Okay. So let me take you over to my main channel. And let's talk for a second. And then I'm going to come back and show you more about these McDonald's buckets. All right, you guys, this is my Bolo Buddies YouTube channel. I do have other Halloween category videos along with a whole bunch of other category videos. If you go to my playlist, there is actually a um, playlist called Category Bolo Videos. That's where I pick categories and I break them down just like this video. I've got Christmas. I've got like cross stitch kits. I've got snapback hats. I mean, I have done a lot of category videos and that's really where I just pick a category and I dig in and I share it with you guys. All right. My other channel is sourcing with Bolo Buddies. Over here, I put a lot of sourcing videos. Um, I also do tips and tricks. Like I have a video where I teach you how to put a video into your eBay listing. Um, yeah, just lots and lots of stuff over here is worth point worth it. I share with you guys about WorthPoint and my experience. Um, I recently signed up and I am super happy that I did it. And in that video, I share with you why. So just lots of videos. There's a video over here that my husband actually did. Um, it's his first appearance on the channel. He did an unboxing. Um, I put, well, he did find gold. He uh, picked a 
trash pile up out of somebody's trash. And um, you could tell it was stuff that, you know, in a box that maybe they had had at a garage sale or something like that. Um, it wasn't total trash, but it was definitely interesting. So you guys should definitely go check out that one. Okay. Um, I also have a channel called Reseller Testing Products. And I wanted to let you guys know something new that I'm doing over there is I'm doing a thing where I show you what I listed. So if I have like a really good day where I get a bunch of items listed, I'll do a video at the end of the day showing you those items and giving you some tips and tricks about how I source and stuff like that. Like this one, I listed 62 items. Um, I did the video and I messed up and I didn't record my voice, so I had to redo it. And in between redoing it, um, I sold this one item in 20 within 24 hours. I think it was like 18 hours it sold. Um, so that is definitely a bolo item that I talk about in the video. I also put my videos over here where I am testing the products before I add them to my eBay listing. Um, I also put videos over here where I part things out. So, um, yeah, you can just kind of scroll through, but I am trying to grow this channel. So I would greatly appreciate it if you subscribe, you do not have to hit the bell because you're probably not want to get, want to get alerts every time I put up like five videos in one day of testing these products and adding the videos to my listings. But I do do other things. So if you check it periodically, there's reseller content over here also. So again, if you have um, some extra time and you want to watch some of the videos, I'm really trying to build the channel up and get it monetized. So if you could subscribe, watch a few videos, that would be awesome. All right, let's get back to these Halloween pails. And then I'm going to show you, I've got 50 Halloween bolos for you guys. So, um, now, here are some more vintage Halloween pails from 1986. So it looks like that's the that's the ghost. I think this middle one and then this top one, I think those were the three that sold for $433. These only went for $57. So that is one thing about auctions. Like if you get two people that are fighting over it in a bidding war, you can definitely get lucky. And I'm going to say that this person right here got really lucky um, and they paid. So they got even luckier. Uh, okay. So 57 for those. Here's another one. And I only have these that I'm showing you about the McDonald's, but I just wanted to give you some examples. So when you go and search solds, if you search highest solds, you're going to see that one for 433. You know, so just it, you got to be careful and look at other listings also, because that may have just kind of been a fluky, lucky thing. Um, I'm not saying, I mean, $81 is still fantastic for some McDonald's buckets. If you ask me, still definitely a bolo item, but 433 would be amazing. All right, you guys. So you can see here, it's dated on the bottom. These went for $81 and those look to be the exact same ones as the ones that went for 433. The next item that sold is this antique vintage 1920s German embossed Halloween die cut waving cat. Oh my goodness, you guys. Um, vintage Halloween is just amazing. It's one of those categories that I am always intrigued by. You can see here it's marked Germany on the leg. This is what the back looks like. $534 this sold for you guys with 77 bids. So. I mean, if you're lucky enough to find these things, you're going to make some money. Um, I am always with auctions. I will price my item at the minimum I'm willing or wanting to take. So I probably wouldn't start this at 99 cents. I would probably start this at $99 or something like that. Because honestly, without searching comps, I wouldn't really know the value. Now, if I searched comps and sold, saw that this sold for 534, ooh, I don't know what I would start my auction at. Probably something pretty high, but when you start your auctions high, you risk not getting any bids. So let me know in the comments how you guys do your auctions. The next item is this vintage Halloween. It is a um, tricks or treats, but it's a sucker holder, you guys. So 
people would put suckers into these card holders and probably hand them out for trick or treat. How cool is that? So again, it's um, kind of like a die cut. It's got the graphics. It's really old and people love this stuff. They eat it up. They collect it. They pay big money for it. This one sold for $204.49 with 74 bids and the buyer paid the shipping. The next item that sold is this vintage Kurt Adler Wicked Witch Wizard of Oz from 2000. Now, um, you can see here, I don't know if I would consider that Halloween, but because it's a witch, it came up under Halloween because I searched vintage Halloween. But Kurt Adler is definitely a good brand. Uh, items range from bread and butter to big money. So definitely always look up Kurt Adler. But this one did really, really well. It sold for $105.50 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item that sold is this vintage Halloween frowning jack-o'-lantern and cat. It is a die cut decoration from the 1930s. This is what the back looks like. This sold, again, Mark Germany, sold for $580, and the buyer paid the shipping. So, again, a really, really neat vintage piece. The next item that sold are these vintage blow mold owls. Um, they are, like, for a patio. It says RV camping. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. There's two sets here, and you can see this owl's missing an eye. This owl's missing an eye. This owl's missing both eyes. So it even has condition issues. And they sold for $196.50 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item that sold is this pulp paper mache black cat lantern with original face insert. So having that original face insert is going to increase the value of this item. Um, I Yeah, it's paper mache. Paper mache is almost always a bolo for Halloween. If it's vintage, the paper insert, you can see right here, it's the orange part. You guys, this sold for $990 on auction and the buyer paid shipping. The next item that sold are these vintage, it says Kirchhoff life of the party, Halloween noisemakers. There's four of them here with a bonus. Um, very, very cool. I don't know if I would have sold these individually or as a lot because they are all really, really cool pieces. They ended up selling for $181.50 and the buyer paid shipping. So I probably would have looked each one of these up individually to see what the sold comps were and kind of decided from there how to do it. The next item that sold is this Halloween vintage I, I always say this wrong. Is it beast style or beastie or I don't know. It's B E I S T L E. It will say it on the die cut. It is definitely a collectible item that people look for that brand. Um, I don't see where it says it on this one, but most of them will say it somewhere. Maybe the earlier ones don't say it, but usually the ones that I find do say it. But this one's really early from the 1920s. And look at that face. Oh my goodness, the graphics are amazing. Sold for $466.51 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item, and you can see most of these items have sold in August. So August, you guys want to get your Halloween items up, what, June, July? So they're ready for, um, I mean, not if you're going to auction them probably. Uh, August, September is probably a good time to do the auctions, but, uh, this one sold for $536. It's vintage Denison's Halloween seals, green and red leaves, 1920s. So, um, they've got little faces on them. How cool is that? Can you believe that you guys? $536. Wow. Just amazing. The next item are these Kiss 1978 Halloween masks. These sold for $251. Um, the buyer paid shipping. I will tell you that Kiss band vintage items are typically a bolo. You definitely want to look them up if you see them. Um, so this is hitting two categories, vintage Halloween and vintage Kiss band. 
Um, I do have a Bolo category video on Kiss band items to Bolo for. Uh, definitely check that out. The next item are more of these, um, what do you call them? Denison uh, Halloween um, seals. And these are jack-o'-lanterns, looks like. And you can see on the back, they have some markings on them. $426.51 for these. So um, definitely be on the lookout. The next item is this vintage J. Chen and Company USA Halloween Noisemaker. It is a tambourine. And it's got the really cool graphics. And you can see made in the USA. Super, super cool. Does have some damage, um, but still went for $199.50 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this scream mask. Okay. I think I have three different masks we're going to talk about in this video. And I'm going to kind of give you a little bit of information of what I've learned from selling scream masks. I think I've sold three or four now. One of them I undersold. I messed up big time. I probably could have got, I'll show you down, down in a few, I don't know when we get to it, <laughs> but this one is a scream mask, go ghost face Halloween mask. It is Easter unlimited and it glows. Now I have sold the one that glows. What I will do is I will take a picture of it glowing and I will put them side by side as my screenshot, my first, um, photo. Um, but I definitely show that it glows. Uh, you can see here Easter Unlimited and on the chin, it will say Easter Unlimited around it. Okay. Now the Easter Unlimited, if they are vintage, you're usually going to get between a hundred and $200 for those from my experience and my research. Now there are different things that can make certain ones more valuable. And sometimes you can just get lucky. All right, so that's the first scream mask we're going to talk about. Um, we'll get to the others. Vintage Halloween wrapping paper. So this is Norcross, New York. It's just wrapping paper. And it's three sheets of wrapping paper. Um, but it's the graphics, you guys. And actually, I don't even know if all three pieces are in there. It may just be one piece. Because um, maybe it's partially used. Sold this for $227.50 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item are blow molds. Anytime you can find vintage Halloween, Christmas blow molds, always look at comps. They are typically a bolo item. Some of the smaller ones are bread and butter, but they usually sell pretty quickly. A lot of people collect these. This, um, uh, excuse me, I'm sorry. This seller decided to sell these together. And um, they sold for $170.49 and the buyer paid shipping. These are tabletops, so they're not very big. The next item is this vintage Halloween trick-or-treat Clark candy bar. Um, I'm guessing this is just an old candy box, you guys. This sold for $193. You can see the sides are split. It's not in great condition, but it has cool Halloween graphics. So $193 buyer paid shipping on that one. The next item is this vintage Disney Mickey Mouse Halloween sweatshirt. It's a plus size 1416. So this has that it's vintage and that it has Disney characters on it going for it. This sold for $88 plus shipping. The next item, I don't know if I would have sold these individually or if I would have sold them as a lot. I do think that it sold for big money, so they couldn't, they didn't mess up too bad, but you just got to wonder what these would have sold for individually, because sometimes one die cut, cut can go for three or $400. Um, I don't know. I, I think I would have sold them individually. Super, super, super amazing um, die cuts there. They did sell for $710 and the buyer paid the shipping. You can see here, this is the back. So this one was in a classroom, probably. Miss something, room 13. How cool is that? Uh, let's go over here and click on see other items. No other items at this time. 
Um, it looks like they did have quite a bit of Halloween items, so they must have somehow hit the jackpot. So we're just going to kind of look through these. Or, you know what? It kind of looks like maybe an estate or something. But again, they lauded these things up. A lot of people will search for items like this. They will buy them and they will list them closer to Halloween and probably make more money selling them individually. So, I mean, yeah, some of these went really low. So I'm just kind of nibbing in their store right now. That's a little Bakelite Scotty pin. Look how cool these are, you guys. That's a Christopher Radko Halloween container. Yeah, big, big money in uh, vintage Halloween. They did really, really well. They, they... They hit the jackpot. So I am i don't know. I feel like it. maybe they run estate sales or something based on how these things are laid out. Just gives off that vibe. Oh, look at this one. $846 for these. Here's some more die cuts. Oh, look at that rug. Is that a rug or is that like a poster? It might be a poster. So yeah. Very cool. All right. So you guys got more than 50 bolos in this video. <laughs> Okay, so this is a vintage Halloween metal, 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 tin litho. Is it litho or litho? I think it's, whatever I say, it's probably wrong because my husband always corrects me and I always say it wrong. So I don't know, litho or litho, whatever. <laughs> it's a witch black cat pumpkin noisemaker and it sold for $148.38 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this vintage 1900s Halloween postcard. It's a Halloween, um, it's a wish witch on an ear of corn and a broom. Um, vintage postcards can be big money. Now, Halloween seem to typically be big money, but a lot of them can go for bread and butter. It just depends on the picture that is on the actual front. This one also has a one cent stamp, so it's really old. Uh, sold for $139.49 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is another vintage Halloween candy advertisement. And I don't know if this was like on a box or if this is a display. It looks like it might be just a display. This sold for $280.55. The next item that sold is this vintage Halloween Rossbro Rosin Plastic Cat Pumpkin. It's just a little plastic decoration, you guys. And it sold for $319. So I guess I shouldn't say just. But yeah, $319 plus shipping. The next item is another postcard. And this is like a schoolgirl grinning with a mask and an owl from the 1900s, and this one sold for $411.50. Now, this one is unused. Um, I'm not sure if that makes a difference or not. I'm sure it does some, but yeah, very, very cool. The next item is this Halloween Boglins Vintage Puppet. I recently found one of these um, at a garage sale, really cheap. Not this guy. Mine's different, but I have him listed. But these Boglins are definitely a bolo, definitely something you should pick up if you see, if you can get it for the right price. This one sold for $176 plus shipping. The next item is this vintage 1950s Halloween game. It is unused. It says stunt and fortune game. So you don't even know what's inside of it. I don't know. Is it a board game or is it just... Do you just punch it out? Is it just a real generic, like, cheap game? I have no idea, but it sold for $327.89, so it's definitely not a cheap game. The next item are these vintage Bakelite Halloween witch-shaped buttons. And if you want to know how to test for Bakelite, I do have a video on that. Uh, these pictures are a little, this one's better. So this is what they look like, you guys. How amazing is that? 
Pretty cool, right? And they sold for $127.50. So if you want to learn how to test for Bakelite, um, I have a video. It's on this channel, my main Bolo Buddies channel. The next item is this vintage Halloween costume from the 1920s or the 1930s. It's a clown costume, you guys. It looks to be handmade, maybe. Um, not 100% sure on that, but uh, sold for $249.50 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this 1988 Halloween, the night he came home shirt. It's a vintage tee, you guys. Um, I don't know. It's definitely creepy. I'm not sure if it's single stitch or not. It doesn't say in the title. Um, definitely single stitch is good. Uh, this one does not say two sided. Um, yeah, sorry. I was going to try to figure that out for you. $230 and the buyer paid shipping. Definitely be on the lookout for single stitch, but even if they're not single stitch, um, they can still definitely be a bolo. And I think right here it's dated. The next item that sold um, is this vintage Halloween decorations pre-1960. This was one from that same seller. Um, again, they lotted these items up. I really think they left money on the table, but I could be wrong. Um, maybe they comped everything out. Uh, but yeah, really, really cool lot. Sold for $191.38. The next item, signed cherished teddies. Um, Chris Love exclusive Halloween witch. So this is cherished teddies. And some of these cherished teddies can be bolos. So definitely look them up. If you see them, um, I've been surprised by some of these that I've been seeing lately. This one sold for $167.50 in the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this vintage Stife Germany black cat. It's got the chest tag to ID it. It's German Halloween toy. Um, right there. Stife is a great bolo. Definitely be on the lookout out for them. They typically have a tag in their ear. Um, this one's too small, I think, for a tag to be in its ear. It's just little. And it sold for $194.51 in the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this vintage sealed VHS horror lot. Now, I will tell you that vintage VHS are trending right now. People are getting them graded. Some of them go for more money than others. Um, you need to look up comps because a lot of them, even if they are sealed, are still bread and butter. But some of them are going for crazy money. Now, vintage. VHS that are sealed that are horror movies have always been a bolo. So they are even more of a bolo right now because of everything going on with the VHS market. Um, these sold for $4,149 with free shipping. Um, just amazing. So uh, definitely be on the lookout for sealed VHS. Check your comps. If they're um, horror movies, even if they're not sealed, they can do pretty good. So um, comp them out, guys. Here is a Michael Simon Disney Halloween Mickey and Friends cardigan. It's embellished from 1995. Uh, maybe it's embellished. Maybe not. Maybe it's just kind of raised. Okay, it doesn't have any jewels or gems or anything on it. Uh, this sold for $156.50 in the buyer paid shipping. The next item, I think I have sold one of these, you guys. I think I have sold this exact one. I think I got it in a mystery box. Mine did not sell for $79. <laughs> I am guessing I probably undersold it. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's that exact one. But this is from 1987. It is a floral. Like, you know, if you order flowers from somewhere and... Um, they come in a container like this. This is one of those. This is Holland Floral from 1987. And it's a jack-o'-lantern planter. And it's only five inches big. And it sold for $79 plus shipping. The next item is this vintage. They've got Bayshore question mark. I don't know if that's a brand. But it's like a witch or a skeleton or a pumpkin head. It's a little blow mold rattle. 
This sold for $72.15 and the buyer paid the shipping. The next item is this vintage Pez dispenser. It's um, It's got some Halloween. It's got the witch, the pumpkin. I'm not really sure which one is driving the price up, but it sold for $102.50. I do have a Bolo category video on Pez dispensers also. Again, if you go to my playlist and search category videos, you can find all of those. Okay, so here is another scream mask. Now, this one is a fun world division, okay? Now, the, it does look different. You can see here it says fun world division instead of Easter unlimited. The fun world division do go for more money. This one does have issues. It's got the mark on the cheek. It's got some staining and it still went for $355 because it is fun world division. Now, there is the first generation and there are different characteristics. I think the shape of the nose and other things to look for. There are YouTube videos that teach you about these scream masks and tell you the differences. I wish I would have watched it because I had what I believe now to be a first gen and I undersold it. Um, but you know, you live, you learn. And now I know, but I still, it was still definitely a bolo. I sold it for over a hundred dollars, but it could have been, you know, a four or $500 mask. The next item is this, and we're going to talk about another scream mask here soon. Okay, so this is a vintage original box Collegeville clown mask and costume Rob Zombie Halloween sold for $160.50. Check it out. Very, very cool. And the buyer paid shipping on that. The next item is this. There's that brand again. Is it Beastie or B Style? I don't know, vintage Halloween, but that's what it looks like. This is follow the leader die cut banner, super rare. It says sold for $113. It's in the original packaging here and the buyer paid the shipping. Okay, here is a first gen screen mask and you can see this one sold for $511. This is what it looks like underneath. I will say that a lot of the scream masks, a lot of times the buyers do not pay. Um, we can go in and let's see, let's look at the feedback and this isn't foolproof guys, but sometimes it is right here. Fast shipping, great communication, $511. So they did get their shipping. Um, ooh, what's this one? Michael Myers mask sold for, it says $1,400. Ooh, check that out. That's creepy. Do 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 do. Look, that is creepy. That is so creepy. What do you guys think? Creepy? Ah! Okay. Sorry, went down a rabbit hole. The next item are these cherished teddies. And here's another um, a Claire Delight in Fright. Sold for $124.50. The next item is this Scream 2 shirt. Um, it is a promo t-shirt. It's an extra large, distressed and faded. Um, if they want to call that distressed and faded, to me, that is like, that's damaged, but that's okay. Um, I don't know what you would, I guess you could call it faded, but um, yeah, it's kind of a mess and it's still sold for $103.50. What would you guys call that? What would your keyword? I guess faded. I don't know if I'd call it distressed unless there's areas where it's got holes and stuff. That's more of what I would consider distressed. But, you know, I'm not the best at keywords. So let me know in the comments what you guys would have used as uh, what kind of damage that is. The next item is super cute. It's this vintage Halloween child's tea set. They're little jack-o'-lantern pumpkins. Uh, this sold for $503, you guys. Made in Japan. I love Made in Japan. I have a Bolo category video on Made in Japan items. You should definitely check that out if you like um, looking for Japan items. The next item is this pumpkin pie spice. Um, not really Halloween, but it is in a sense. So they used Halloween in the title, so it popped up. I thought it was cool. I also have a Bolo category video on vintage 
tens to be on the lookout for. So definitely check that one out. This 10 sold for $78 plus shipping. The next item is this vintage antique Halloween accordion lantern from the 1920s or 1930s. I mean, just to find something that's 100 years old that's still in this type of condition. I mean, that is amazing. It sold for $202.50. I'm actually surprised that didn't go for more. So very cool. The next item is another paper mache. This one's from the 1940s. It's a black cat Halloween lantern. It still has the insert as seen. This sold for $248.50 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item to be on the lookout for is black and white photos of people trick-or-treating in their Halloween costumes. Definitely a bolo item. Um, if you go into eBay and search Halloween uh, photograph black and white, you'll see other bolos. Uh, they're really, really cool uh, pictures. Not a lot of them. So they're rare, hard to find, and they're always unique and different. So this one sold for $76.66. The next item is this antique vintage German Halloween skeleton die cut. Again, this is probably something that um, is, it's probably going to have some damage to it because it's probably been hanging somewhere. Um, I don't know if this one would be in a classroom or not, but uh, sold for $152 and the buyer paid the shipping. You can see there's damage on the neck. It's been taped, but still a really, really cool um, item. I don't know if it's antique. If I mean, gosh, do you think that's a hundred years old? If that's the case, it's in really great condition. So, all right, you guys, again, this is my Bolo Buddies channel where you're at. Please subscribe, like, comment, and share if you have not already. And check out my Sourcing with Bolo Buddies YouTube channel. And also my reseller testing products. Again, I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe, watch a couple videos. I'm really trying to grow this channel. And thank you all so much for being here. Thank you for watching. That was 50 Halloween bolo items, items to be on the lookout for, items that you can sell high. I don't know if you can always buy them low, but um, you never know. So uh, if you don't know, you won't know what to look for. So that's why I do these videos. Some of these items are going to be hide harder to find, but um, you might get lucky. So if you do, please let me know. I do have Facebook groups down in the description. I've got links to those. I'm on Instagram, Twitter, and Pinterest if you want to check me out there. Um, thanks for being here and thanks for watching.